Hi kids, today we are going to enter into the new chapter, market structure and pricing. First you know about the what is the meaning of the market. Market, the place where the products or commodities sold as well as bought. Okay, where we are buying and selling the product, that place only called as a market. Okay, actually this market uh, in economic wise, how we are saying this one as a exchanging, exchanging the goods, the place where the goods are exchanged. Exchange means what? Buying and selling only we are saying, isn't it? That only we are saying in the economical term, how they are using the place where the commodities or products exchanged. That place is known as the market. Okay. What are the characteristics of market? You should know. The buyers and sellers of a commodity or a service. What are the market it has there? Definitely buyers will be there as well as sellers will be there in that place. And a commodity to be bought otherwise sold. Definitely the buyers and sellers should be there of a commodity. And also the commodity it should be bought otherwise sold out in the market. Next Price should be agreeable to the buyer as well as seller. Okay. What the seller is going to sell the product and in part which price is going to sell the product. It should be agreeable by the buyer. And also when the buyer is buying the product, what is going to pay the money? It should be agreeable to the seller. Next, it should be the, uh, that means the market, it may be. Direct exchange otherwise the indirect exchange. How it will be the indirect exchange means the wholesaler what he will do we will uh, uh, that means he will give the products to the retailer. Okay that means he will selling the products to the retailer. That means indirect exchange it is not as it is consumed by the consumer. Okay so what we are saying in that place indirect exchange. Direct exchange means the commodity it is bought by the consumer directly that is called as a direct exchange indirect exchange means the consumer the consumer won't uh, purchase otherwise buy the product directly the retailer he will buy the product from the market and after that only it will reach us to the consumer it is called as a indirect exchange that means in the market there may be the direct exchange otherwise the indirect exchange Price should be agree, agreeable by the buyer as well as by the seller. And the commodity, it should be bought and sold in the market. Buyers and sellers of a commodity will be there. Okay, buyers of the commodity will be, buyers and sellers of the commodity will be there in the market. Okay, next we will move on to the classification of market. What are the classification of market? On the basis of area, on the basis of time. On the basis of quantity, on the basis of competition, we are classifying the market in so many. First, we will move on to the, on the basis of the area. On the basis of the area, how we are classifying the market. There will be the local market, provincial market, national market and international market. Okay. Under area, what are the markets are there? Local market, provincial market, national market and international market. Local market. Here the products are sold or otherwise bought within that place alone. Okay, within the local place alone. For example, we may say about the vegetables. Vegetable and fruits, it will be sold out in that particular place alone. Okay, it is known as a local market. And the provincial market, most probably this one sold out only in the restricted circle. Sold out in the restricted circle. For example, we may say about the newspapers. Newspaper will be sold out only in that restricted circle alone. National market. National market, the products as well as the services, both are sold and bought throughout the country. Sold and bought throughout the country. It is known as the national market. For example, we may say about the electronic items, uh, coffee, tea, and uh, rice, everything, it is sold out throughout the country. Next, international market. Here, the products, that means the goods as well as the services, sold and bought from the 
outside of the country as well as the we that means uh, we will export the products as well as we will import the products it is known as the international market that means the place where the goods are sold and bought at the world level where the goods and services are sold out in the world level okay it is known as the international market for example we may say we are uh, in, in importing from the other countries petrol gold like that things okay and uh, exporting what are the things we are exporting we are exporting sugar okay sugar wheat like that type of the things we are exporting that means we are selling the goods as well as we are buying the goods that is known as the international market next we will move on to the on the basis of the time on the basis of time we may classify the market into very short period market okay otherwise short period market and long period market very long period market very short period market and next one short period market and next one long period and next one very long period market very short period market what the very short period market here the available time the quantum supplied of a product cannot be increased or decreased what we are supplying the products the in the uh, quantum quantum is quantity quantity we can't be able to increase or decrease okay that is known as a very short period market for example during the flood situation what the prices it will raise of the food but whether they can be able to give the more product in that place can't be able to give so only what they are doing they are raising the prices of the food most probably the price of the product it will increase the price of the product it will increase short period market it occurs when the quantum supply of a product can be increased in the very short period market the quantity cannot be increased or decreased but in the short time uh, short period market the quant the quantity of the product it may be increased or decreased in a particular level alone not uh, in the longest level only in the particular level we may increase or decrease in this one some factors continue to be fixed some factors it will be fixed and they work a little more in intensively to meet an increased demand when the demand it increases of the product if the product's demand is it increases means at that moment what they are doing they are increasing the product production they are increasing the production but can't be able to increase more there only little bit they can be able to increase the production next long period market in this one the quantum supply of the product it may be increased or also decreased in the larger level in the short period only in the limited level i said isn't it but in the longer period market long period market it will be increased to larger extent that means the production of the quantity quantity of the production it may be increased or decreased in the larger extent the supply curve it will be elastic only very much elastic here okay okay to meet an uh, demand what they are doing the all the factors become variable in the short period some of the factors it will be fixed i said but here all the factors are variable factors alone that means if they need the more production what they will do they will purchase the raw material more. that means the capital it will be more the the labor they will appoint more there okay technologies it will be same alone technology it won't change okay land also it won't change but the capital as well as the labor it will be variable according to the demand okay next is very long period market in this one new year technologies new technologies are introduced and also modern products are produced because of this the older one it will move out from the market okay what they already given the production the older one it will be moved out from the market when the new technology as well as the uh, that means a new technology introduced and also the most modern production when we are giving there at that moment the old production it will move out okay for example we may say about the pen drive introduction of the pen drive the cd it was for uh, as it is it was a vanished isn't it when the cd when they introduced at that moment 
the cast tape cast everything it was vanished okay that means uh, when we are introducing the modern products as well as when you are innovating the um, new things and the modern technologies when we are utilizing at that moment what it's happened there the period it will be very long the period it will be very long that means the pen drive still now we are having isn't it when they introduce uh, nearly 15 uh, years we are having that pen drive next on the basis of the quantity of the commodity okay how the quantity of the commodity also we may classify the market wholesale market and the retail market wholesale market we know very well isn't it when we are buying the bulk goods it is known as the wholesale market for example we may say about the uh, groceries uh, dresses everything it is sold out in the how it is sold out in the bulk amount okay uh, the retailer what he will do he will buy the product from the wholesaler okay the retailer is buying the product from the wholesaler when he is buying the product what he will do he will buy that product in the bulk manner alone retail market is this one selling or buying of commodities in the only in the small quantities okay small quantities that only uh, the retailer what he will do he will buy the products from the wholesaler and he will sell to the cons consumer next on the basis of the competition the market it is known as the perfect competition otherwise the imperfect competition in the imperfect competition what are the things you are having you know monopoly market monopolistic competition duopoly market oligopoly market like that type of the market we are having in that one okay first you should know about the differences between the what is the meaning of the firm and industry okay what is the difference between the firm and industry first you should know actually in the lower class itself you read but again you should recall about this one firm it gives only the single production okay it gives only the single production and also it gives the small quantity of a commodity or service firm we are saying firm also one of the industry only but in the firm only the small quantity only they will give the production as well as the single production only it will give that also it will be the uh, one of the unit of the industry it is the one of the unit of the industry okay what is the meaning of the industry industry means the that means so many group of the firms only we are calling as a industry many group of firms is known as the industry here actually yeah what uh, how they are doing you know uh, the same product only they will give there but with the group with the group of the firm they will give the same product okay in a firm also they will give the single product only but it is the unit of the industry it is the unit of the industry but industry is the group of the many firms okay children thank you